everybody, I look like one two here and welcome to part two. Sorry guys, uh, my phone was out of battery as you can see in the description in the first in the first part of the bonus bit. So yeah guys, we are back. And yeah, I am just using strategy guide this time because I want to show you guys like how does the puzzle work in the cabin door of the second ship, which is of course the stateroom. Because when you of course when you collect all the bronze and gold insignias, like I may have said, I uh there will be some thing called the achievement complete, and then they try to go to the stateroom for clues. But this, amazingly, the stateroom door puzzle and this crew of the puzzle is actually kind of have the same idea. Except the solution is always randomized every single time. So guys, like, as soon as in the strategy guide below, okay. Like for example, there's uh, one in the middle, which means they only need one dot to be lighted up. So two dots are not allowed, only one. You only need to click one dot up here. But uh, if you have like one instance where you need to like, for example, you have two dots here, and then you are uh, you click this dot and then some other dot, I don't know where. This will affect the number of dots as they appear in this square as well because one and two dots are lighter instead of just one. So yeah, you have to be very careful. Okay, let's go back to the puzzle. So yeah, guys, uh, let's do this. Okay, good guys, I solved the puzzle of the thing. I know, yeah, let's just say I'm looking for, I'm extremely sorry for the silence thing because I'm extremely focused right now. Okay, yeah, guys, you will reach this uh, state room here and then you'll come across this chest. I had actually got the key already from the. Yeah, yeah, so that's why you have to get past uh, Crown. Kevin because there'll be hidden objects seen and then they will and then what you will get is the treasure chest key and the last page of the crew roster in the of course not from the hidden object scene itself. So yeah you when you come back here use the treasure chest key on this
Okay. And then once you win the set, if you guys collect all of the golden signatures and one signature that I did, you will receive these. One letter and a diary. Just realize it. My dearest Phineas, it is with great exuberance I humbly accept your invitation. By all accounts, you have fashioned a most grand and modern dwelling in which to relish such well deserved success. Your exuberance tears a void in my heart, and though we are yet betrothed, I pray you consider the sadness your vacancy has stowed upon our daughter. We dearly miss you and welcome an opportunity to prosper with you and your new life in Louisiana. Loving you all, Grace. Okay. Okay, this is when the ironic comes in. This is uh, so Grace's so called true feeling. I cannot bear saying my response to Phineas lost his invitation. How dare he abandon us abroad, aboard this wretched vessel while he focused about carelessly spending the fruits of our efforts? I shall attend his miserable parties only to inform him that our daughter, Abigail, fix on name, was sent in secret to live with relatives in England. Accompanying company her is more than half of my captain's adopted fortune. Consider this my last right, dear Phineas. May the midst of the tide salute our embrace, embrace sorry, as we walk the shores of eternal damnation. Uh, by the way, if you guys if you guys have, are not introduced to Mr. Chris Files yet, Abigail, um, basically, the entire Mr. Chris Files is now shouted in backstory of somebody called Charles Delamore and Emma Ravenhurst. She is a uh, kind of love interest. Let's just say, uh, long story short, to summarize the entire Ravenhurst game, we find out that he actually poison her so that she can actually keep her in England. Yeah, by making her sick and then locking her inside the house and even actually murder her when she tried to escape. And and finally, his mother's name is actually Abigail Delamore. I'm not gonna say anything about his father, I said his father indulged in dark magic, let's just say. So the, the the name Abigail actually interests, interests me because it's actually Charles Delamore's mother's name. So yeah. So I wonder is this game really like in the Ravenhurst story arc once again? Yeah, I guess we never know. So yeah, guys, this is the end for all the go and stuff. See you guys in the next project, guys. So stay tuned.